This is the most delectable problem in that whole homework set. We have a book that has been given a push up an incline with the coefficient of friction given. So it's going to be sliding. We're going to be looking at coefficient of kinetic friction because it's sliding. Initial velocity. And there is a cup attached to it. We need to figure out whether, I mean, first we're going to figure out how high up the incline the book will slide and then whether at the highest point it will stick to the slope or slide back down. I'm going to go ahead and answer B first. In order for it to not slide back down, I need to have my force of gravity plus force of tension to be equal to available force of static friction. Friction static, here's my normal. So if it's possible for it to stick to the surface, I don't like this T, if, it's, if it is possible, then I'm going to compare. And I'm just going to start with tension. So if it sticks to the surface and doesn't slide back down, then my tension is going to be here equal to mg for this one, right? Because if everything is at rest, then I have this mg and then this tension. That tension is going to be 0.5 times 9.8, 4.9 newtons. Well, how much friction do I have available? I know that my normal force is going to be 1 times 9.8 cosine of 20 degrees, which will be 9.2. And then if I add mu to it, I will get the 0.5 because I'm looking at my static. So that times 0.5, 4.6. Well, if I only have 4.6 newtons of static friction available and just tension alone without the x component of its own weight is greater than the available static friction, then it's definitely going to slide back. The harder part is when we figure out how high up the slope is going to slide. I'm going to look at the forces that exist on it. There is no force up, right? I have my MGX, bzding, 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 boom, 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 boom. I have kinetic friction because I know my velocity is up, therefore kinetic friction is going to be opposing it. Let me get my normal force, which is equal to MGY. And then I have tension. Because there's no upward force, my acceleration is definitely going to be downward. So I might as well say that for this dude, mg and tension is going to be less than that. And then from here, I'm going to write my Newton's second law for each one. I'm going to start with the cup. 0.5 times acceleration, which I do not know, but I am looking for it, will be equal to 0.5 times 9.8 minus tension. Then 1 times acceleration, which is the mass of the book. And I'm going to go at my, look at all my forces that are down the incline. So I have my tension, then I have my mgx, then I have my mu mgy. Since this is a system of equations, I'm going to add them. Tension cancels. Therefore, 1.5 accelerations equal. And I'm just going to put 9.8 as a factor out. So it's going to be 0.5 plus sine, because the mass is 1. So sine of 20 plus mu kinetic is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 cosine of 20, all of that. Then since I'm looking for acceleration, I'm going to grab this 1.5 and put it in the dungeon. Bzzing, 1.5, 6.7. So acceleration is going to be negative 6.72 meters per second squared. I'm saying that it's negative because it's opposite to my velocity. From there, change in x is going to be 0 minus v initial squared over 2 accelerations. So negative 9 over negative 13.44.67 meters. And that's how we answer the first question. 0.67 meters is how high this book is going to slide before it stops. And then it's just going to go slide back down. You're welcome.